Welcome, my name is Agnes Gabriel and this is Disrupting Mindset. Our goal and purpose is to interrupt your way of thinking and beliefs. Today I'm with a guest, her name is Mercy. Mercy, she is my friend, she is my sister in Christ, but also she is a makeup artist. The look you see me with right now, I did that. yeah, it's her hand. So, um, today's topic is why your relationship with God matters. Why is it important for you to have a deep, intimate relationship with God. So, me and Mercy today, we are going to discuss about that and give you hints as to why and how can you repair it if you feel like in some way you are far, very far from his presence, but also what can you do like in your daily routine, what can you do in order to make sure your relationship with God, our creator, is improved and it's continue to be fruitful. Uh, Mercy, I want... Uh, First of all, before we start to, 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 to say why, when I say personal relationship with God, what, what do we mean? What do I mean by that? Okay, according to my opinion, when I hear personal relationship with God, it means that um, an intimacy with God. Just like any relationship, it needs to be nurtured. That person needs to be made a priority. You need to make sure you talk to them, you listen, you're sacrificial. That's how it is with God. When you don't push yourself to pray, when you, when you don't push yourself to go to church, you want to go to church because um, personally you feel the need to continue that intimacy, that connection with God. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's according to me. Okay. And okay, so me as a youth, why why should I have a personal relationship with God? Like I have a lot of things that is going on in my life. My life is good. I'm healthy, and uh, if it's about deals, I get deals, come on in my FOMO, I do great, then, and I do, I do go to church every Sunday, so why do I need to have that personal relationship with God, and like, what do we mean by that, and why is it important? Okay, first of all, we must understand that in this world, we just pass by it, yeah. that means we're not going to stay here for long, there's something called an afterlife, mm -hmm. so after this, when we die, it's either heaven or hell, so we all want to go to heaven. So there's a way we're supposed to live, um, and how are we going to live like that? We have to have a personal relationship with God, because from that, that when it, uh, it has a package, which is reading the Bible, going to church, obeying Him. So through that, when we live righteously, when we die, we're going to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. So I think basically we should understand that we're just here temporarily. Mm -hmm. Even if we're healthy, it's not going to stay for long. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen. We're alive today, who knows tomorrow? And why do we do you think youth we tend to forget that like we get carried away with all of other stuff we are put putting our attention into, and why do you think we, we get we, we forget about that we forget about that part a spiritual part we care about our health sometimes we care about mental health we care about our studies but why that part spiritual part in particular why do we forget about that part? Um, normally I can say our environment. Like for me, uh, there's a time, yes, um, I've backslid, and it's basically because of the people around me, my friends, mm -hmm. all we used to do is go clubbing and do this and do that, and we're like, okay, I can do all these things, and I'm still alive, so I was like, ah, why do I need God? Like, life is good. Mm -hmm. But then, I think that's basically for me, that was like the most um, influence that I got that, I, that caused me to forget mm -hmm. about God. Basically, it was my environment, people were around me, my friends. Because I grew up in a godly family, mm -hmm. so I can't really blame my, my, my family. But it's just the environment I put myself in. So are you saying your cycle, people who are around you can, in one way, either push you yeah. to, to act in a godly way or pull you away? Yes, as much as people don't understand or realize that. Many can say, no, um, people can't just um, um, push me to do something I don't want to do, but without knowing indirectly, we just find ourselves doing things because, ah, oh, let me just go pick up a friend and then you go meet, oh, let's go clubbing and then you do this, one thing leads to another, but when we come back to the source, it's the people who are around us, who are surrounding us that cause that. Even if you live by yourself, one phone call and you're out, mm -hmm. your friend says, I'm going to come get you, or yeah. let's not go to church, let's do this, yeah. you know? So you don't have to really be around them, but then those are the people who are circulating us. So I think that is a basic factor. Mm. Um, okay, one thing I'm much we are not talking only about uh, religion, like 
maybe you are Muslim or a Christian and maybe unaenda kanisa kila siku au unaswali sana sana we're not talking about we're talking about wewe unajijua mwenyewe moyoni mwako unajua mwenyewe ndio yako kama mm, kweli do i live accordingly like right now ikatokea pap umeanguka umekufa where would you go kwa sababu if you are believer you do believe kwamba kuna eternal life na kuna kuna hell and all that so where would you end up so this episode inataka tunataka kukukumbusha to like in the midst of it all entrepreneurship labda umeajiriwa labda unasoma katika vitu unavyofanya katika malengo yako na vitu vyote ni muhimu kwako kumkumbuka Mungu pia nataka tuongee kusana na swala la kusali praying 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 uh, how do we pray like okay um tunatofautiana katika jinsi ya kusali lakini how kwa sababu mimi naamini kuomba ni kuongea na Mungu yeah so how do we pray as youth how how do, how do we communicate with god how do how do we i think there's actually no formula to that because talking to god is like talking to our father so we don't really have to practice we just basically have to uh, for me i kneel down and pray so when i kneel down and just talk to my father because if it's an intimate relationship you know how to talk to him and you know how he speaks to you and you know how to listen so i think there's no formula like when you they say that um you have to pray for a long time even if you say one sentence god can hear you there's no formula to that for those who pray for hours god can still hear you hear them and for those who pray for one minute god can also hear them but it's just that just make sure you pray that's the most important thing like make sure you have a prayer time table where you pray every single day okay so in the process of restoring your relationship with god what spiritual habits can you do you do you do but in your daily routine but also you can share with other people like you need to do the, because i believe in the process of repairing your relationship with god so just a one time thing mm-hmm. it's a continuous thing you need to talk to him every day mm-hmm. so what do you do uh first of all i set a timetable where um there's a time i pray mm-hmm. apart from in the morning at night when i go to sleep in between i find a nice time um, time to pray mm-hmm. where it's quiet and and, and and peacefully and also i read the bible every single day mm-hmm. i have to make sure so for some people who are lazy to read the bible I, i've been so lazy so there's this um app called you version for the christians mm-hmm. where every single day they give you um scriptures you can choose a bible plan and give you scriptures and they remind you they give you a daily word for every day so i use that those are the two basic things i think um are important for everyday routine and also church every sunday mm-hmm. i go to youth meeting every friday i also have a connect group i go to on wednesday so i just try to fill my time table as much as i can with um with activities okay could now uyu kijana leza akasema kwamba me i pray alone like no there's no need for kwenda kwenye fellowship ama kwenda kwenye kwa the church kwa sababu na 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 ni na 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 sababu ni but also kuna sikuzi kuna online uh, live stream like mm. kuna kanisa na kanisa mm. na live stream so kuna mtu anaweza kusema huwa anakoga nyumbani na ga live stream and what can you say Well, I just think first of all it's ridiculous to pray at home. That's just a big lie because even if it was like that, let's say for school, why are people going to school if they're clever? They still go to school anyways because there's an importance. So when it comes to like for me church, I go there because um God has sent his people or has prepared his people to send a message to us. That's how it was in the Bible. He used one or two people to get to everyone else. So I believe that through through the pastors they are used to send a message to us we can read the bible but we don't have a revelation mm-hmm. so through the pastors they have a revelation and they teach us okay so because one scripture can have 50 meaning so you never know when i go to church he preaches about something and it touches my situation in my life when i read the same scripture i didn't understand anything mm-hmm. so i just believe it's just teaching it's part of teaching so you can grow spiritually mm-hmm. because we all need to grow mm-hmm. so when in growth there are people who are in higher levels than us mm-hmm. spiritually so they like our mentors who are going to help us yeah. kuna promises ambazo tunaidiwa like um kwenye kwenye scriptures kwamba utazana kuongezeka utabarikiwa wengi wapo utabarikiwa tukapo kazi za mikono yako zitabarikiwa atakuketisha na wakuu yani kuna a lot of 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 of, of promises na mambo mema ambayo tumeidiwa kwenye scriptures na mungu lakini naona kama vile watu wengi we tend to look at the promises and we forget the part that we are supposed to walk 
and ob- be obedient na ku follow some rules ambazo Mungu ametuwekea for us to get those promises what do you say about that well in every happy ending there has to be a process so yes you promise something you promise you're going to prosper you're going to have a god has prepared a wonderful plan for you but then there's a process in anything mm-hmm. even when a child wants to walk he has to first crawl to fall down mm-hmm. get up again mm-hmm. and then finally take a few steps fall again and then get up and start walking mm-hmm. so they don't just start walking automatically so everything has a process in life so i think that we shouldn't base only on the on the on the pla- on the plans that god has for us and on the promises mm-hmm. but also take heart and be able to go through the processes because our eyes should be fixed on the promise so that it gives us motivation to get up in the morning and continue to to have faith but then we should rely on god and trust his process okay what can you say is a major problem to you when it comes to your christian life and your like an environment like a difficulty that you face being a christian and being like around people who maybe are not christian who have friends who are not christian like how do you balance that like what's the major challenge just first of all what's the major challenge that you face in your christian life yeah. and then how do you balance your life okay um i hate when people judge other people about their ways like okay the, kuna kuna ile kuna una, una criticize mtu au una unamweleza una mtu kwamba this way is not good and all that lakini kuna ile the other way kwamba mtu anajiona kwamba yeye ni better than the other person playing god yes playing god i i really hate that that is my biggest challenge like we can the same alafu nikakuta i mean i love bible and a place I used to worship yani atumekea ni msingi sana ya kuweza kusoma biblia kwa hiyo nikawa i'm looking yani for a, where where else can i go and and worship so I'm not to eleza nikaanika kufundishwa nani and all that and it was a very hard process for me because of my my family lakini uh, nilipopata kwa this place nilipata and i really enjoyed the the teaching lakini the people sisi ambao wako katika that place yani naona they are playing god and i really hate that you can find it very uncomfortable and then i went to this other place i was introduced actually this other place i really like the place for sababu first of all after teaching now like they understand teaching now is na relate na a young person na na relate na a professional person na relate na yani mtu wa karne ya sasa like wana anajaribu kuleta yale mafundisho ambayo kwa Biblia lakini katika huu ulimwengu wa sasa hivi so that you can understand it better so that you can relate with your life sasa hivi so i can say hiyo ilikuwa ni challenge moja hapo but also it's a good thing kwa upande mwingine kwa sababu imenifanya ni look for other ways in other places so now how you how do you balance your christianity because obviously you're christians are christians but then you're in the world yeah you know so like how do you balance your life where maybe you have friends who will tell you let's go club and let's smoke let's do this let's mm-hmm. do that how do you balance to make you still like maintain those friendships or do you rather cut them off to have a safer life or do you know how to have integrity and stand up for what you believe in even if you're in a certain environment which doesn't allow you to do that okay if i'm being honest right now i mean if <laughs> work in progress <laughs> let me just be honest i am a work in progress like kuna a lot of things i'm going to learn in my life right now na kuna kuna kama vile mtano kama vile kuna kuna vita ya what should i stand for what should i do um lakini pia naweza nikasema i mean that's why i nimeleta hii topic kwa sababu even myself kuna muda kabisa nikajiona kwamba my relationship with god my core 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 yes lakini kuna eza, kuna hiki kitu kwamba kuna a certain limit ambayo ninayo yani kuna kuna those kind of friends ambao yani wako nje ya home stay yani kuna okay we all see yet we all seen lakini kuna wale wengine ambao unaona kabisa yani huyu ni ananivuta kabisa mbali yani 
hachangikwa aina yoyote ile kufanya my spiritual life iwe better so those kind of people i najaribu i'm trying like really hard to set them apart and also right now in a bring more people who are working in in a godly way in my cycle yeah and na najaribu to figure out myself kwa sababu kuna kuna ile neno niliambiwa na rafiki yangu moja let me just say um his name on it to baraka nasema na yudo anaambia kwamba agnes kazi unaoifanya ni kazi ambayo unagusa mioyo ya watu wengi sana na ni kazi ambayo ukitoa neno inaweza kubadilisha maisha ya mtu hilo ni jukumu kubwa sana yani mtu ambaye unaweza kusimama sema kuongea kitu iko iko kitu kama kutoa kinaweza kubadilisha maisha ya mtu so kwa aina yote whether you know this or you don't know aniambia whether you know this or you don't know shetani ama kuna nguvu ambayo itapigana na wewe katika kwa unafanya so you need to stand up you need to stand up na wewe ukisimama unasimama kwa ajili ya watu wengi zaidi na one thing you should never say if you are young and you think like ah no i'm not going to kill your money superstition no like sure kuna nguvu ambazo zina work against you yeah. and whether you believe it or not imanish kwamba hizo nguvu hazipo yeah. so you come up here in a work like this na hata work in your you know work kwa sababu kwa namna moja wengine wanagusa maisha ya mtu mwingine stand up for yourself mkabidhi Mungu kile ambacho uko nacho mkabidhi Mungu yale malengo yako mkabidhi Mungu zile ndoto zako mkabidhi Mungu kazi zako kwa sababu kupitia iko unachokifanya kuna mtu maisha yake yanaenda kuguswa kuna mtu anaenda kubadilika kwa kujua ama kwa kutokujua kwa hiyo sasa hivi like i said niko work in progress so that's what I'm, I'm trying to do right now okay and a certain topic when it comes uh, to relationships mm-hmm. normally Christians tend to like not want to do it the way God wants. Mm-hmm. You know, we have we face a challenge because um, we know we know our values, we know um, what we should stand for, mm-hmm. but then sometimes people come because the devil doesn't have to come as a devil. The devil can come through as a person, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So even the people who come around and want to date you just want to you find yourself accepting someone and then your spiritual life has gone down, you start yeah. drinking, you start going to the club and doing all mm-hmm type of sins because of the person. So like I know you've been through that. Ah, we've all been through. That. I've been through that when you've been in wrong relationships and you know it's wrong because yeah. it's not godly. Mm-hmm. The person does not believe in the same God. Yeah. Does not want to go to church. He doesn't want to have a personal relationship with God as an individual, mm-hmm. you know. So how do you how do you okay, how do you advise other people kutokana na pia wewe ukitu mbao unavifanya na nyo sometimes ni ngumu because you have to understand that okay this person is bad for me I have to cut them off as a people mbao na kule kwa nye ino lakini you cut them off mapema kwa ndo ina kitu kupenda kwanza and then you get hurt or you try to just maintain a relationship because it's been going on for a long so how do you advise people um, when it comes to bad relationships or dating and when you are a Christian or a God for your person okay um kwanza naweza nikasema mimi napenda hii subject ya sana na Mungu kwa sababu at some point inakuwa ni kama vile when you are in an entrepreneur journey like kuna lazima kuna watu they will walk out of your life mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. it's the same now when you start to work in godly ways like mm-hmm. kuna some people they just wenyewe wataanza kujiondoa and i i say that kwa sababu i have my cousin ambaye yeye alikuwa we used to club together like we to go club together and sometimes there's a kanjele same nikamwambia Ismaela she will pay for it and then later Gafra bin Vua kabadilika like when you I, I get back home ile na like unaweza kumpiga simu anambia niko kwenye maombi today nimefunga cuz there's no way utaleta story nyingine ya tofauti kwa sababu cha mwendo unataka kwa hiyo you see so kuna hiyo so okay let's get back to your question mm-hmm. first of all you need courage kwanza Yeah, you need courage mm. you need courage a lot yes you need courage na courage to enter our office you always kudanganya this is black and white uh if you're a christian by surrounding yourself na your fellow christian na sio tu christian ni walio simama lakini also kwa kujijaza mwenyewe neno i like this kwa sababu kuna friend of mine aliniambia read bible each and every day so kuielewa lakini as long as imeingia kichwani kwako iko mm. siku mbele ya safari roho mtakatifu anaweza akakufundisha utumie wapi wa style yeah. and all that kwa sababu it is not easy and it will never be never. easy mm. lakini kinga tutokio kujua kwamba hapa ni kuna vitu vile ambavyo vinafanya kazi your mind and your heart mm. okay so you need to unabidi uchoose kwa sababu ukishaongelea dating relationship tell unaongelea maswala ya emotions mm. 
Yes. And to win over, you need also to, to, to win your emotion first, like to control mm. your emotion. Mm. And for you to control your emotion, you need to set values. Like these are my values. Mm -hmm. If it's outside this, then this is not for me. Yeah. Now get back to the point. So now you know your values and mm -hmm. it, it is already outside your values. Mm -hmm. So where will you get the courage for you to act on it? For some up on the question of mm -hmm. Now sometimes the devil can use your closest friend. Yeah, that's true. A very closest friend. Like, it's normal, it's normal, yeah. it's normal. Now also an actually so from to your time in Christian right now and after your dates and all that, you need to set your to set values. In a job you guys are like you need to learn how to control your emotion. You also have such a courage of saying no when you want to say no and yes when you want to say yes. Yeah, and also don't be afraid to do cold things because normally people think that just because you're saved and you're God fearing that you're supposed to be perfect. We are human beings, we make mistakes yeah. also. So we also repent. So someone wants to make you feel like I oh, already sinned and you already sinned. Yeah, I did that, I repent mm -hmm. and I really wanna grow. So those people who are trying to lay you back, you really need to just say no and cut them off. You know, we just need to practice the power of saying no. No explanations, no nothing, just no. I don't want that life anymore. And if you cannot cope with my life and my values, I don't want you. I just believe that God has prepared a person specially for you, just like how um, he made Eve yeah. through Adam, mm -hmm. purposely for him. So there's someone who's made for you, you know. So I think we just should not settle. We're just quick to settle because, okay, about age. Don't care about age because God does not work like that. He doesn't have age, he doesn't have... Um, yeah, he works with season. If it's your time, it's your time. Mm -hmm. Just because your friend is getting married, you also want to get married and just settle for the next guy. Yeah. You know? But also, I want to add something. We do have a Maisha Mbaru to Naisi say, if you have a Maisha Mbaru, you have a Naisha Mwanzo Mbaru, Laba, they are not in a good way. And right now, you want to change. Let me tell you this. I spent uh, the last one year without going to church, like kama nimeenda kanisa ni kwani mara mbili au mara tatu and that's that is why kuna muda nilisema kabisa niko na jiona kabisa niko mbali na Mungu and i had my reason like kuna uh, vitu vingi kwenda kwa mashamba so right now when i stand up and i say naanza kwenda kanisa naanza kufuatilia mafundisho ya Mungu naanza ku walk in a good way kuna some people ambao i used to hang out with them but i know nimebadilika i don't know wewe uko hivi wakati used to be like that do not let those people make you feel uh, uh, shameful and make you feel shameful like evil ones that it's is a process you can start right now na unaweza uka 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 jifunza na uka uka endelea ku work in a very right righteous way yani binadamu tuna tabia ile ya kumfanya kwa mtu mtu ameshakosea then tunaanza kumfanya kama vile aendelee sasa kukosea moja kwa moja hivyo na wewe unapotaka kubadilika kuwa mtu mpya ndio maneno yanazidi kabisa zaidi na ukuta mtu anataka bring your past yani hapa kwenye kwenye sura yako so kwa mtu yote ambaye i don't know this is for who but if you're going through that process right now do not quit do not give up like focus on where you want to go yeah and that's why we have grace you know um i have a church uh, the pastor once said that grace is a safety net. It's not a resting place. Mm -hmm. A safety net is just in case you fall, I got you. Mm -hmm. But it's not a place you should rest. Okay, just because I sing now, I should rest because I'm going to keep on singing because God mm -hmm. will forgive me. And no, I think uh, we should realize that that's why when we fall, God catches us, gives us, give us another chance, mm -hmm. and we carry on. So we should not misuse that mm -hmm. and continue um, sinning. Mm -hmm. I think that we should just. Um, be appreciative of God's grace because there's so many people who want to repent but then they don't have a chance mm -hmm. and they they die, they get sick mm -hmm. and then now they realize that okay, I should have died and it's too late so mm -hmm. we shouldn't reach that point where the only choice is to repent where we still can speak, we still have our two hands our two, our two feet and we still have a heart beating let's just remember God continue to maintain a relationship if it means cutting them off, you know I think automatically it's not like we let them go. I think once we just committed to God, automatically they just start leaving. Yes, yes. Because we never have the strength to just leave them. You mm -hmm. just find them going away yeah, from us, and yeah, we realize yeah. why we're alone. Then we realize that it's actually God mm -hmm. who's taking them away and replacing them with new people, new people who are going to help you. They're going to go to church with you. They're going to attend fellowship with you. So 
I think everything happens for a reason. Yeah. And I think staying on the safe side, staying in God's side is better because there are times when you feel alone, when you feel like you cannot do it anymore, mm-hmm. but then you read one scripture and then you're good. You wake yeah, up yes, and yes. then you can you can conquer the day. Yes, that's you know? very true. So and also I want to add something. Do not ever feel that you are young. You are very young for you to start walking in the God way. Yeah. Some people and I don't know how man of no way yeah. that. I was equal last week. I was on my mom and she was praying like I can't go there. I didn't know how to water. Like me, some of water and me, I like one umbrella to do the kind of nasa and that kind of thing. And I, I started questioning myself like, okay, what if? Apani lipo fika ni mfika kwa ajili ya maombi ya mama fulani sehemu fulani ambayo au hata kama sio mama ni mtu mwingine ambaye si mimi najijui lakini kuna siku alisimama na kuomba laba kwa ajili ya watoto wa kike hapa Tanzania and all that. Kwa hiyo nataka kusema kwamba usijioni kwamba uko ni kijana zaidi kwa sababu iko siku utakuwa parent. Lakini sio tu parent kabla wazidi kuwa wazazi wako wanazidi kuzeeka. Kuna muda alikuwa anakuombea it's time for you to pray for them. True. Like you need to go kabisa upige magoti muombe Mungu asante kwa hapa nilifika. Kama umebarikiwa wazazi wako uko hai mpaka sasa hivi umuombe aendelee kuwafanya wako hai waone matunda yake ni vile utakavyofanya tutakacho achieve wa wakuwe waendelee kuyaona yani wakae wayaone kama ni wadogo zako kama nini you need to start praying for that right now mm-hmm. lakini also kwa my fellow sisters like seriously you need to start to pray for your womb right now right now upuza wako kizazi chako kuna lot of things that will naendelea katika maisha sasa hivi tunaona vizazi jinsi vinavyoenda kuna mambo ya ajabu so you need to start yani usiseme kwamba nikiingia kwa familia au nikishaolewa you need to start praying for your womb for your generation right now yeah i think um do you have anything else to add or oh, we should wrap this up yeah we can wrap this up if people have any questions yeah. they can leave it in the comment section mm-hmm. and then i think we'll have time to answer it but I, or if they have any other topic they want mm-hmm. to hear yeah, they yes, can yes yes hold on Yes, and, and if you have enjoyed this and you want me to invite Mercy the other uh, <laughs> next time, you just need to tell me when you comment section below. It has been a long time since we made the Fanya um Fanya video, then I'll post a video on YouTube. So, uh, from now on, I promise consistency. I promise that, and you amen to that. Hold me, hold me accountable. <laughs> you need to hold me accountable. You need to hold me accountable. And from now on, I'm talking about post video. Kila ijuma, ijuma ya pili ya mwezi na ijuma ya mwisho ya mwezi. Every Friday. Second, don't forget that. Yes. Thumbs Second up. and last. Okay, you need to mention your uh, social media name. Oh, there's Miss Mercy. I think you should leave it in the comment section yeah, below. Yeah, she yeah. will, and I have Glow by RM, Glow by RM, and then I also have um, RM Fashion Lab. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. She owned the boutique. I own the boutique. I'm a makeup artist. Yeah. And you're a graduate. You tell I'm me. I'm a graduate. <laughs> I just okay. So I'm just waiting for the results, though. But then I believe I have faith. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank My name is Ayesha Gabriel. Follow us on Instagram at Disrupting Mindset. There's no underscore nowadays. Just Disrupting Mindset on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time.